If you're running Facebook or Instagram ads without the Metapixel, you are wasting money. It's as simple as that. So in this video, I'm going to show you what it is, why it matters, and how to install it step by step. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency that's driven over $272 million in revenue for our small business clients using social media ads alone. So if you're interested in having us handle all of your social media marketing for you so that we can scale your business while you run it, fill out our contact form linked below for a free custom marketing proposal and quote to go with it. For everybody else wanting to figure out how to do it themselves, let's get into it. Today, we're going to cover something that every small business owner who is thinking about running Facebook ads should understand, the Metapixel. So what is the Metapixel? The Metapixel is a piece of code that comes from your specific Facebook Ads Manager account that you take and install on your website. Think of it like a tracking tool that sits on your website. Every time someone visits, clicks, or takes an action, like filling out a form or booking an appointment, or something like that, the pixel records it. Then Meta, that's Facebook and Instagram, uses this data to understand who your best prospects are. So in plain English, the pixel shows you where your leads are really coming from. It tells Meta who's most likely to buy or book with you, and it makes your ads cheaper and more effective over time. Without it, you're basically flying blind. You might be getting clicks, but you won't know if those clicks turned it into phone calls, purchases, or appointments. And if you don't know, then Meta definitely doesn't know. Know. And if Meta doesn't know which ads are truly successful and bringing in clients and customers for your business, then it doesn't get smarter and better at finding those people for you. It's like baking a bunch of cakes and never tasting any of them to know if they're good or not. You're just randomly serving these cakes to different people without knowing if the people actually like them. Without the Metapixel, you're just randomly serving ads to a bunch of people without knowing if they're actually responding well to them or not. If you knew, oh wow, people like my strawberry cake way more than they like my chocolate cake, you'd probably make more of the strawberry cake, right? It's the same thing with ads. If you knew that the content of this ad or the pain point in it or the format of the ad resonated way better with your target market and converted them a lot better than this other ad did, you'd put more money towards the better ad, right? You can't do any of that without the Metapixel. So you end up just spending a lot of money making chocolate cakes that nobody likes, AKA on ads that don't give you a return on your ad investment. So now that you know what the Metapixel is and why it's important, let's talk about how it works. So here Here's the workflow. Someone lands on your site, the pixel fires and records the action and sends that info back into Ads Manager. Meta then uses that data to understand what types of people are completing your desired goal, whether that's product sales on your site, lead form completions, or what have you, and then serves your ad to more people who are just like them. And that's just what Meta does on its own. But there are a few steps further that you can take to really amp up the amount of sales and lead form completions that you're getting. You can retarget visitors who haven't converted yet, like showing ads to someone who visited your booking page but didn't book, or showing product ads of the exact product someone was looking at on your site but didn't buy, and sending them back to your site to finish the checkout. You can build lookalike audiences, which is a group of new people that Facebook finds who look just like your existing customers and clients, and therefore are more likely to buy with you. And you can measure ROI, so you know if you're paying $10 per lead or $200 per lead, $5 per product product sale or $100 per product sale. And I'm going to show you how to set up all of these things in later videos, but I just wanted you to go ahead and start grasping the power of what the Metapixel installed can do for your business. And it's so easy to do. So with that, let's talk about how to install the Metapixel step by step. So it's time to get practical. So grab your laptop and follow along. To create your pixel inside of Business Manager, you're going to go to asmanager.facebook.com. And in the left menu, click over to Events Manager, click Connect Data and select Web. Web. Click connect, enter a name for your pixel, and then click create pixel. This creates a new ID viewable in events manager. Enter your website URL to check for easy partner integration setup options and click check. Access and asset connections are the number one place that small businesses starting out get stuck. So make sure the pixel is assigned to the right ad account that will actually run your ads. From there, you want to choose your install path. If your website is built on Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress, you'll likely want to do option a, which is partner integration. Or if your website was custom built or does not have a straightforward partner integration
information for it. You can always install it manually by pasting the base code directly into your site header. Meta supports either path, and I'm gonna show you how to do each really quickly so that you can pick the path that you wanna follow. All right, so for option A, partner integration, these are the steps. In Events Manager, select your pixel and click Continue Pixel Setup. Use a partner. Choose your platform and follow the prompts. And some typical flows, like for Shopify, you'll install the Facebook and Instagram sales channel and then select your pixel. For Wix, you go to Marketing Integrations, Facebook Pixel and Connect. Squarespace, you'll use Settings, Developer, Code Injection, or the Metapixel integration if available. And for WordPress, you'll want to use a trusted plugin or your theme's header field. Our site is built on WordPress and we use the Tracking Code Manager plugin for hours. Once you've got it installed on your website, you'll want to verify that it's actually working with the Metapixel Helper Chrome extension. So here's a picture of what that extension looks like. Just download that and then go to your website and it should show the page view pixel as firing green at the minimum. If it's not picking that up, then you need to go back through and see where you went wrong or why it's not tracking. Now, if you're installing it the manual way, here's how to do it. In Events Manager, choose Install Code Manually and copy the base code and paste it inside the head tag of every page on your site. CMS themes usually have a header or code injection area. And usually websites like this were built by a custom web developer that you hired. So you can always go back to whoever made your site and ask them to install this for you. Save and publish your site. And again, Again, same thing you want to verify with the Metapixel helper that it's working. You should see that page view green with no critical errors. Now you'll typically want to verify that it's working in two places before moving on. We've already used the Metapixel helper to verify that it's working on your website's side. Now let's do an ads manager check. In events manager, you're going to go to test events, enter your URL and click around your site. You should see events stream in real time. You want to fix any pixel errors now because eventually we want to track more than just general website traffic. So a clean page view signal now will make everything else easier to track afterwards. So on that note, let's talk about how to track other conversion events like product sales, lead form completions, etc. Facebook has a list of default conversion events for you to choose from. And if none of them fit what you're wanting to track, don't worry, we're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. I'm going to show you how to create and track a custom conversion event next. But a lot of business owners just select one of these from the drop down in the ad set level when setting up their ad because they're like, great, yeah, I want to track purchases, but they haven't actually set up the ability for Ads Manager to do that. And they don't know that they need to do that or how to do that. They don't know that it doesn't work just by selecting it from the drop down. So here's what you do. In Events Manager, click your pixel and then add events from the pixel. And then from the pixel, open the event setup tool. Enter your site URL and click open website and then click on buttons or URLs within your site to mark them as events. Choose a standard event like lead, contact schedule, complete registration, or purchase. And if you're in e-commerce for purchase and other value events, you can set value in currency if applicable. So you can tell it how much each sale is worth of your products. Then save and finish and test again and test events to confirm that they're firing. In this step, you're basically telling Facebook what is what on your website. A lot of small business owners either don't have the Metapixel installed at all, or they do, but they haven't done anything else with it. And so they're tracking general website traffic and that's it. You have to actually go in and do all of this setup and tell Facebook what each thing means on your website, like a purchase or a lead form completion in order for it to use the Metapixel effectively. And once you get all of it set up correctly the first time, you'll be good to go after that. And you can run your ads simply and smoothly without having to mess with all of this again. Now, let's say it didn't have any of the actions that you're wanting to track on there or that you track things by using a thank you page. You're gonna wanna set up what's called a custom conversion. So so let me show you how to do that. If the function you're wanting to track has a unique URL, you can track conversions without extra code. For instance, if your website is set up so that once anyone fills out your lead form, they are taken to this same thank you page. For example, let's say www.fakewebsite.com slash thank dash you. Then you can enter that URL into events manager here and tell Facebook any traffic that lands on that page is a lead. Or if you're in e-commerce, maybe people don't land on the exact same thank you URL after checking out every time because it has custom order numbers in it. But the beginning of the URL starts the same, like fakewebsite.com slash checkout dash thank you slash then it starts all the order numbers. Then you can say any traffic that lands on a page where the URL
URL contains fakewebsite.com slash checkout dash thank you is a product order. You'll want to do URL contains in that instance instead of URL equals since it's not the full URL, but it accomplishes the same purpose. So here's what you do. Go to events manager, custom conversions and create. Choose your pixel and define rules like URL contains and then insert your URL and select a category like lead, purchase or what have you and then add the optional value if that's applicable. Click create and you're good to go. Now this next step is an extra one that most people won't tell you about but if you skip it, optimization can be limited for iOS users which is a large majority of the population. So for reliable optimization on iOS devices, verify your domain and event priorities. You're going to go to business settings, brand safety, domains, add your domain and verify via DNS, TXT, meta tag or HTML upload. Then go to events manager, aggregated event measurement and configure web events. Select your verified domain and prioritize up to eight events. For lead gen, a common order is purchase if used, then lead, complete registration, schedule, and then any key micro conversions. And then you'll just hit save and publish. And then the last step here before we recap is for better reliability beyond the browser, you're going to want to connect conversions API. In events manager, go to settings, conversion API, and choose a setup path. If you use both pixel browser events and conversion API server events, then you'll add an event ID to deduplicate so that meta counts each action once. And then test in test events to confirm that the deduplication is working. So final checklist, your pixel is connected to the correct ad account. The page view pixel is firing on all pages. Primary lead or schedule event is firing on the call booking action. Custom conversions are created if you rely on a thank you URL. Your domain verified and AEM event priorities are set. Your optional conversion API is connected with deduplication and the events are all validated in pixel helper and test events. Once these boxes are checked, Meta can actually learn who your best prospects are. Your reporting will show real cost per lead or cost per purchases or cost per booked appointments, whatever you're tracking. And your optimization will get smarter every week. And that's it, you've got the Metapixel installed. Installing the Pixel is not just about tracking, it's about giving Meta the data it needs to find you more of the right clients to start with at the lowest possible cost. If you skip this step, every ad dollar you spend is possibly for nothing. But if you set it up properly, you'll not only know where your leads and customers are coming from, but you'll pay less to get more of them.